topic good afternoon everyone 11th class chapter 1 accountancy uh, and uh, yesterday we did topic users of accounting information so i'm going to just uh, doing a fast recap so the there are two type of users internal users and internal external users in internal users further three parties or three stakeholders are there owners management like board of directors and other employees top level management and the middle level management then employees and workers okay so each and every interest group is interested for their own interest every party is interested in the books of account they have their own criteria like owners are interested in the safety of the funds and the returns management is interested in different type of accounting information then employees and workers are interested for the bonus and their increments so they are interested in the profitability of the business and external users many other parties are there that is the bankers and financial institutions investors and potential investors creditors are interested in uh, the repaying capacity of the business whether their amount will be paid back by the business or not on time then government and its authorities for tax collection wait a minute and uh, then uh, the researchers for conducting their research work consumers for the price reduction in the cost structure of the business they are interested then public for the social welfare activities of the business they are interested okay then we did accounting is an art or science so your answer will be both art uh, science gives us knowledge and art tells us how to apply that knowledge so accounting has both aspects accounting is an art of recording classifying summarizing and it is a science which is based on certain principles okay so it is both so i'm uh, now i'm going to start with the today's topic which is the last topic of the chapter systems of accounting so there are two systems of accounting double entry system and single entry system as you all know that our book name is also double entry system okay double entry and bookkeeping this is the name of our 11th class so it is a type of financial accounting three branches i told you financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting so double entry system and single entry system are the two systems under financial accounting okay double entry system as the name implies the system in which for one transaction there is a double entry both the aspects every transaction has two aspects already we have done this chapter rules of debit and credit chapter 6 types of account in rules of debit debit and credit so every transaction whenever we are doing any transaction in the business then it has minimum two aspect at least two aspect more than three aspects also in accounting equation i told you that certain number of transactions are there which are having more than three accounts involved okay so each transaction has two aspect one aspect is debit aspect and the other aspect is credit aspect and while doing the accounting both the aspects are recorded whether it is debit aspect or it is credit aspect both the aspects are recorded for example we can take many more example as we have already done in uh, accounting equation and rules of debit and credit for example you have deposited money in bank okay so which two aspects which two accounts are involved in this transaction deposited money in bank which account is increasing and which account is decreasing yes please tell me i am waiting for your answer yes very good samay and uh, i want answer from each and every one yes ankita very good yes yes so two accounts are there yes ankita i am unmuting you yes ankita yes ma'am yes please tell me which two aspects are there when we are going to deposit money in bank which two accounts are there and when we are going to deposit money in bank the two aspects are bank bank account and the second one is cash very good so one must be increasing and the other must be decreasing so which is increasing yes, and which is decreasing the bank the in bank uh, the account is increasing and cash is decreasing so which one will be debited and which one will be credited what is the nature of both account bank and cash 
Ma'am, bank and cash are assets. Very good. So one asset is increasing. Very good. Everyone is giving me answers in chat box. Good understanding, students. So one asset is increasing and the other asset is de decreasing. So which will be debited and which will be uh, credited? Yes, Ankita. Which will be debited and which will be credited? Okay, I think there is some. Uh, 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 increase in asset will debited and decrease will credit and decrease in cash will be credited. So bank will be debited here and cash will be credited here. This is known as double entry yes, system. I think it's clear double entry system. Yes, please tell me the system in which both the aspects, every transaction has two aspects. One is debit and the other one is credit. So it is the system in which both the aspects, debit as well as credit are recorded. So you can take many other examples, like uh, one more example we are taking here. Uh, like uh, Harshita, I have unmuted you. Harshita Bansal. Yes, ma'am. So uh, yes, suppose ma the example is you have purchased building in cash purchased building or purchased furniture or purchased any of the asset plant and machinery by making payment through check so which two accounts are involved in this transaction uh, ma'am uh, first is uh, furniture or uh, building and machinery yes very and good. the other one is uh, through check means bank account very good through check means bank account so two uh, accounts, accounts are involved here if we have purchased furniture, then furniture, otherwise building or machine remains asset, any asset, whichever asset we have oh, purchased. Yes. And the other account is bank. So which is increasing, which is decreasing? Uh, 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 that uh, machinery, furniture and building are uh -huh. increasing and uh, cash, uh, sorry, uh, bank account is decreasing. So which account will be debited and which will be credited? machinery uh, building and uh, machinery building and furniture will be debited and a bank account will be credited yes very good harshita keep it up darshika samay dhruv everyone has given me correct answer very good students so this is all about double entry system so in short you can write that double entry system is a system which records both the aspects of every transaction both aspects means every transaction has two aspects debit and credit so at the time of recording a transaction, both the aspect is recorded. One aspect is recorded on the debit side and the other aspect is recorded on the credit side. So you can take many examples to prove this. Okay. So the next is the features of double entry system. What are the features? So meaning itself is explaining all the features like uh, this system records the complete record of the transaction. It means both the aspects are recorded so no aspect is ignored so it records the complete transaction second it recognizes twofold aspect it means debit one aspect is the receiving aspect and one aspect is the giving aspect third in this system one aspect is debited and the other is credited one is giving and the other one is receiving one is debited and the other one is the credited next the total of debit is always equal to total of credits because if we have received the building for rupees 40,000, we have purchased the building. So building is debited by 50,000. And same time, if we have made the payment through check, so bank is reduced by 50,000. It means debit must be equal to credit with which the one amount is debited with the same amount, the other account will be credited. So that's why it is said that since one aspect of transaction is debited, and the other aspect is credited the total of all debits is always equal to the total of all credits this you have already proved by doing the accounting equation also in both the sides the totals will be always equal so similarly while doing the journal also the both side of the debit journal uh, journal has two sides debit and the credit side the total of the whole of the debit side must be equal to the total of the whole of the credit side next stages of the double entry system all these are very small topics stages same which we have already done in the form of process of accounting because double entry system is a part of accounting so the all the three stages are there first recording the transactions in journal then classifying the transactions in the ledger then on the basis of preparing the trial balance means summarizing stage we have started then after making the trial balance 
all the books are closed and preparing the final account final account means trading profit and loss account to know about the profit and balance sheet to know about the financial position of the business so these are the three stages recording classification and summarizing and here the double entry system ends okay so next is the advantages of double entry system so same advantages which we have done in accounting uh, mostly the advantages are same which we have done in the previous part of the chapter scientific system why it is known as a scientific because it is based on some principles of science just like science is based on principle so this double entry system is also based on some principle which we are going to study in chapter 3 and as well as uh, recording business transaction as compared to other systems of bookkeeping it helps to attain the objectives of accounting so that's why it is known as basically the scientific system if we are saying it the main reason behind is it is based on certain principles so it records the complete record of transaction it maintains the complete record of transaction because the both sides of a transaction are recorded whether it is debit side or credit side arithmetical accuracy of the account is ensured how arithmetical accuracy if the debit side and credit side both are not matching it means we have done some mistake somewhere in any of the transaction because if we are recording the same amount at the debit side and same amount at the credit side then after completing the journal then if we are doing the totaling then the debit side total must be equal to the credit side if not so that means there is some arithmetical error it may be calculation error or it may be amount like somewhere we have to return 500 but by mistake we have written 5000 so such type of mistakes can be there then next it helps in determining the profit or loss yes by preparing trading and profit and loss account these two things you will be finding everywhere knowledge of financial position and determining the profit or loss whether you are doing roll of the accounting or you are doing the advantages of the accounting or objectives and as well as in the advantages of double entry system so these are the common points which you can write in all these topics okay so knowledge of the financial position yes we can uh, know about the financial position of the business what is the amount of assets what is the amount of liability whether the business is solvent or insolvent by preparing balance sheet and normally these financial statements are prepared at the end of every year and that accounting period at the end of the accounting period and i told you earlier that accounting period of two type calendar year and financial year so it may end on 31st december then it will be known as calendar year and if it is ending on 31st march then it is known as financial year like in schools in different companies the accounting year ends on 31st march that's why from april 1 the new classes are started similarly in banks and all the companies the accounting year is taken as a financial year like starting from 1st april and ending on the next year 31st march it has a complete 12 months period okay comparative study is possible because one year results may be compared with those of the previous year years this i have already discussed inter firm comparisons and intra firm so wherever comparative study is mentioned you have to explain comparative study with the help of inter firm and intra firm comparisons can be easily conducted helps management in decision making this point is also new many times we have done this point so uh, many type of information is provided uh, by the uh, double entry system to the management and this information can be used for taking different type of decisions next detection of frauds and misappropriations frauds and misappropriations are minimized as we are maintaining a complete record about all the things all the expenses all the revenues all the assets and all the liabilities so no assets can be misused or no frauds can be there so all these are the advantages of double entry system i'm uh, just reading the heading once again for better clarity scientific system you can see that the may, maximum points are same which we have already covered in the previous topics like objectives of accounting role of accounting advantages of accounting so same points are there it records the transaction completely arithmetical accuracy this is the new point because in single entry system this is not available then determining profit or loss knowledge about the financial position full details for uh, purpose of control then comparative study then help uh, management in decision making 
then finally the detection of frauds and misappropriation last topic accounting from incomplete record or single entry system beta in the complete book of your accounting the whole of the book is actually uh, will be following double entry system there is only one chapter at the end of this book in which which will be following single entry system single entry as the name implies does not mean that there only one aspect will be recorded sometimes students may be misconceptionally uh, take this as only the one aspect of the transaction will be recorded one aspect either debit aspect or credit aspect but it is saying like this is wrong so accounts from incomplete records or single entry system basically it is followed by the uh, small businessman who may not have the complete knowledge of the double entry system as you have seen that a double entry system or accounting is a complete process which includes many steps which will be taking time and which will be requiring the complete knowledge of rules of debit and credit and other things so if the sole proprietor is not having that much of knowledge or he is not able to appoint an accountant because his funds cannot allow him Uh, appointment of accountant is not affordable for him he cannot afford the high salary which is to be paid to the accountant so instead of following double entry system he can follow the single entry system but all the companies all the banks all the corporate identities corporate identity means the businesses which have a separate legal identities already i think you have studied this topic in bst all type of companies banks means all the corporate identities are not allowed to follow this system single entry system they have to follow only the double entry system because they need to publish their books of account because many parties many stakeholders are interested in their business account so they need to follow only double entry so single entry system can be adopted only by the small businessman specifically for the uh, sole proprietors who need not to publish their books of account because no one is having interest in his books of account the total capital is invested by him and all of the profits will be taken by him only so he need not to follow the proper accounting system so if he is not able to follow i am not saying ki uh, he will be never be following the double entry system it is up to him if he wants he can follow if he can afford the people uh, Uh, to appoint uh, if he can afford the salary to the accountants then he can follow there is no but for him it is not mandatory but for the all type of other businesses which are having a corporate identities for them double entry system is mandatory so uh, the small businessman only the sole proprietors have choice they can either follow the double entry system or the single entry system but mostly sole proprietors or the small businessman are following single entry system why because in this system there is not as much lengthy accounting process as was in the double entry system no journal no requirement of journal no requirement of ledger just what they do they just maintain a cash book cash book uh, we will be doing uh, in this chapter only uh, sorry in uh, 11th class only it's a complete chapter cash book in cash book actually it is just like a cash account in chapter 6 we learned how to make the cash account so it is a subsidiary book in which also there will be two sides one is the debit side and other one is the credit side on debit side all the cash receipts will be recorded from wherever you are getting the cash it will be written on the debit side and if the cash is decreasing it means if you are making payments then it will be recorded on the credit side so basically this system is adopted single entry system is adopted basically by those businessman whose main business is on cash maximum business transactions are in cash only few transactions are there which they are doing on credit so they are maintaining the cash accounts and the personal account personal account means the accounts of the debtors and the creditors they are not doing the journal entries only few entries they can pass but not the complete record they are maintaining so single entry system is a system in which sometime both the aspects are recorded sometime only one aspect is recorded and sometime even no aspect is recorded sometime even no aspect is recorded so the transaction in which cash is involved like we have deposited cash into bank so both the aspects will be recorded because in cash book Uh, in bank column 
cash account uh, bank will be increasing and the cash will be decreasing and some of the transaction only one aspect is recorded like we have purchased building for cash so in this system building uh, recording of building will not be there only the effect on cash will be shown so the one aspect will be recorded some of the transactions are there in which not the cash involved not any name uh, account involved not any personal debtor or creditor is not there so in that case no transaction will be recorded in detail i will be telling you when we will be doing this chapter only here you have to just do the definition of the single entry system that's all numerically we will solve with uh, this chapter then i will be explaining in detail so it is also known as accounts from incomplete records or unscientific system of accounting like double entry system is known as scientific system so it is known as unscientific system or accounts from incomplete record why i am telling you that it is known as accounts from incomplete record because both the aspects of the transaction are not recorded sometime only one aspect is recorded and sometime no aspect is recorded and sometime two aspects are recorded so that's why it is known as single entry system but some time the students may assume it that its name is single entry system it means only the one entry will be done no i told you earlier also it's a misconception two entries may be passed one entry may be passed or no entry no recording of the transaction so in this system we are not following the accounting process completely okay we are not following the accounting process completely we are not making the complete journal then ledger then trial balance trading pnl balance sheet we are not following all these steps okay so in some transaction both the aspects are recorded in other one aspect is recorded or not recorded at all this line is very important so we are not maintaining all the accounts which we have already done in chapter 6 only the personal accounts personal account means the accounts which has some name like debtor account creditor account proprietor account and the cash book are maintained okay and in this system whatever the accounts we are maintaining are incomplete and unsystematic therefore this system is not providing the reliable information means whatever the profits or losses given by this system are not reliable why not reliable because everything is not recorded here some of the transactions are left so how can only the few transaction give you the reliable records okay so this is all about the since all the transactions are not recorded under the system on double entry basis it is not possible to prepare a trial balance as a result the profit and loss account and balance sheet cannot be prepared kyunki trial balance we can prepare when we have followed the complete process of accounting journal ledger because trial balance is prepared only with the help of ledger here we are not preparing ledger if no ledger is there no trial balance will be there no trial balance we will not be able to know the profit or loss so how the profits are ascertained only with the help of the formula which we have done in accounting equation and uh, closing capital minus opening capital will be the profit and the, the further this formula will be elaborated for doing the adjustment of drawings and additional capital so the chapter here ends and uh, now i am going for a quick recap of the whole of the chapter and in tomorrow's class we will discuss the assignment and the back question answer of the chapters so we will be just doing whatever the topic we have done in this chapter so how many topics we have done it's a very important chapter and all those students who will be leaving the class in between they will be not given any attendance for today make sure you are in the class till the end of the class i will otherwise your name will be they are in the list of absentee so accounting is a in first topic we did meaning and definition of accounting here i told you uh, the definition this definition accounting is the art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transactions and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof this is the complete definition which involves the all the steps of process of accounting then we did the features features itself means all the steps of process first feature identification of the financial transactions second measuring the identified transactions measuring them in terms of money recording in journal classifying in ledger 
summarizing in trial balance trading account pnl account and balance sheet analyzing and interpretation by following the different tools and techniques then communicating to the users this is all about the features of accounting as well as the process then objectives what are the objectives of accounting to maintain accounting records to determine the profit or loss we have already discussed here we i am we are doing just recap determining the financial position to facilitate the management for taking different type of decisions to providing accounting information to the users communicating the information then to protect the business assets protection from frauds and any other things businessman will be able to control to keep a control on the assets then functions of accounting we did next topic maintaining the systematic accounting record same preparation of financial statement these are the functions meeting legal requirement this is a separate point and it's a very important point then communicating the financial information to the users help to the management again the same point so this is the only point which is different in the functions and the objectives uh, then advantages of accounting advantages of accounting financial information about business financial information about business then assistance to management means helps to management replaces memory facilitates comparative study inter firm and intra firm settlement of tax liabilities facilitates loan all these points we had discussed uh, evidence in court facilitates sale of business assistance in the event of insolvency and helpful in partnership accounts helpful in decision limitations are very important it's a most important topic in the chapter and uh, normally this question comes in 3 4 marker accounting is not fully exact because estimates are there unrealistic information because we it is based on certain principle so sometime it may provide the unrealistic information it ignores only the quantitative facts or the facts which can be measured in terms of money so it records and it uh, ignores the qualitative elements but sometime the qualitative elements may be more important so that is not recorded by it then it ignores the effect of price level changes due to principle of historical cost all the assets are recorded at cost price only may lead to window dressing window dressing means manipulation in the accounts to paint a better picture to show the better picture so that the investors and the other parties are attracted towards our business then role of accounting same again the same points maintenance of systematic record assistance to management you can see that the assistance to management and comparative studies everywhere so the, you can uh, learn it as a common points for each and every topic evidence in court then the accounting process many times we have done this accounting process branches of accounting financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting three branches i told you and in detail we have already discussed uh, whatever we are studying in accountancy subject that is the financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting you will be studying in higher classes that is a separate uh, field next bookkeeping first three steps of accounting process recording identifying and measuring then recording and then classifying means up to the making of ledger account is known as bookkeeping and uh, accounting is a much wider concept it is also a very important question three marker theory question difference between bookkeeping and accounting okay so learn it properly so a bookkeeping accounting starts wherever bookkeeping ends so we can say bookkeeping is a part of accounting so bookkeeping is a narrow concept and accounting is a wider concept then accountancy then accounting information types of accounting information information relating to profit loss financial position cash flow qualitative characteristics reliability relevance understandability and comparability then users already we have discussed in the beginning of the class uh then accounting art or science both system two systems are there double entry and single entry and here the chapter ends okay so tomorrow there will be query session as well as the assignment discussion session so be prepared with the whole of the chapter okay and thank you for being a patient listener uh, do the revision for tomorrow's class and today i'll be sharing assignment too Okay beta bye everyone have a good day